Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, still messing around with the excavator, making some changes. I think they're improvements, but you know, that's uh, a matter of opinion. <laughs> so, I know everybody says these things have trouble overheating, so this uh, one that I have has this cage type thing that goes over the muffler. And I painted the muffler with some high temperature paint because it was kind of rusty. So I've got that removed and I have made a a shield. And what that's going to do, I'm not going to put it on there because these are temporarily held in place when I put it on permanently. I don't want to knock them off there. Anyways, this will go on this cage and it goes from the back of the cage and it sticks out here further so that it matches up with the holes in the back. So hopefully the air that's coming in here uh, with my extra two fans will blow through this and back out and keep some of this heat from the muffler out of the engine compartment. So that's one thing I got going. And I noticed that it looks like at one point there was a tailpipe maybe tack welded right here. Well it's not there now and it's ripped out right there. So this exhaust was kind of inside too. So I made a little extension for that. And uh, I like things quiet. <laughs> so I had a piece of tubing. I think it was from a uh, treadmill. I saved part of the framework because it had a nice curve in it. Thought it might be nice for exhaust someday. Well this stuff just fits in there just perfect. So being I like quiet, I found a piece of square tubing, which I saved from a chair, <laughs> and it just fit in there just nicely. So I drilled holes all the way down through the length of it, similar to what it has in the muffler. And this will insert right in there, like so. And now that will stick out the back just a little ways. And hopefully it'll be a little quieter. And I'm gonna have it gonna drill a hole down through here and put a little cotter key to hold it in place. I'm not gonna try to tack weld it in. That way if it doesn't work out, I can dig it out of there. And I don't believe this is gonna make any restrictions. So we're gonna try that. Okay, the next thing I got going. Um, let me swing this around out of the way. And I get the camera in a little different position. Yeah, I just heard something outside. It was a UPS guy trying to get up the icy driveway. He had a big package for me. Two NGK spark plugs. These have that torch Chinese plug in them. A lot of people say they're not too great, so I ordered a NGK and a, and a spare for it. So, anyways, next thing I was working on was back here. Uh, some of these excavators wind up bending these plates that the drive motors are built on. And I think it's the ones that don't have this piece here on. But I thought just to be safe, I am building a piece to go between. Um, someplace I've seen a picture of one that had a brace back here. So I got a piece of channel iron and I got it so that it just fits 
nice and there. And it just, these happen to be the same height as the bottom of that motor, so that'll protect those motors a little bit. And I thought, well, as long as I got something there, why don't I put a receiver in? So that's what that hole's for. I'm going to put a little, this was left over from another project. And then these are going to go in there. And I'm going to bolt this in place. But I want to make sure that I'm able to work on those if I need to. And this is going to be, uh, if I do transport it, I'll have a place to tie down instead of trying to put it up on something it shouldn't be. So i got to get that tacked together and welded up. And I'm going to drill and tap this heavy plate here. Um, two bolts on each side is what's going to hold it in place. So. I'll show you that when we get her done. Got my end pieces welded on. Of course, I already had the the uh, tap drill size hole here, so I used one of these punches in these holes. Put this in place. Got it marked. Um, used a pilot hole, tap drill size, and. Had to use an extension on my uh, tap wrench and coming in the home stretch here, I think, for this uh, for this tap, and then I'll finish up with a bottom tap. And I was a little concerned about this, but I actually was able to, right where the weld is. So I was actually able to drill into where the weld was because I could tell when I hit that. And this is actually thicker than the nut would be. So, you know, there should be plenty of strength there. It's not like it would be, actually it's going to have more threads than uh, a nut would for that size bolt. So, got to get these two over here. This is, I got this one done. This is my second one, so I got two more to go after this. Uh, yeah, if you didn't notice, I'm using fine threads too. Figured that would give me more holding power. Well, I got all the holes drilled and tapped, and figured I'd better try it. And I had to drill the holes one size bigger, just because there was a little bit of interference. So, next thing I do, I think I'll get this receiver on there, and then, I'm not done with this project, it's not only to um, have tie downs of receiver, protect these a little bit, but these hoses are awful vulnerable yet. So I'm going to make a plate that bolts on here, that goes up and covers these, covers these up. So that'll be the next fabrication. Working on the shield for the hoses. Um, this is another dumpster find. It's not sheet metal and it's not steel plate. It's kind of in between. I don't know, it's sort of like, almost like this stuff. Not easy to work with. <laughs> it's uh, too tough for my brake so I got to bend it by hand so I just got it mocked up here I think it's gonna be okay these sides will bend down and then I'll, I'll weld it along here and of course this stuff will all be cut off I just thought I'd show you the process of uh, what I'm going through to make it I think it's uh, 15 inches wide. That pretty much covers the hoses. So if you're not getting it, 
you'll when I get it done you'll understand it. Now I got her bent up. Hopefully you can envision it. <laughs> Run into an issue here. It was sitting up on this. I should have made it just half an inch wider because it just barely hit on both sides so I just got a little relief in there so got to get some bolts down through here I'll uh, drill and tap it probably just I don't know some quarter inch bolts with some fender washers probably should do it now yeah, I got her all bolted in place everything seemed to fit okay and I know it looks really low, but that's how low those motors are. There isn't, these things don't have much clearance, so you got to be careful. Hopefully that'll help protect things a little better. Um, the receiver thing, I'm not sure how much that'll ever be used, but it's not going to hurt anything. So, so to conclude, we got uh, this part in the back down. We got the uh, exhaust stuff done. I got this stuff all mounted, the shield and and the extension and I wasn't able to use the cotter key because I did start it up and it rattled so I wound up putting a couple of screws, one on each side. So next thing I'm either going to turn that black piece there that goes on the back here into a counterweight or else we're going to put hinges on this so we'll have easy access to this so not done yet but just thought I'd uh, make this a video and get started on the next part of this project so if you enjoyed her give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do Thanks for watching. See you next time.